Hi friends, I am Sam. I have seen Miss R's videos on two digits and three digit numbers and now I understand very well how these numbers are formed. But I still get confused when reading three digit numbers. For example, is this number uh, 22 or 202 or 202? And this one, is it 425 or 425 or something else? And this one, is it 91 or 910 or um, I don't know, what is it? The good news is that Miss R is going to teach me how to read three digit numbers. Hello, Miss R. I am ready to learn how to read three digit numbers. Excellent, Sam. Now tell me, do you remember what digits are? Yes, Miss R. I learned from your videos that digits are symbols used to write numbers. In our base 10 number system, we have 10 symbols or digits and they are called 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. I also remember that all numbers are written using a combination of one or more digits. Very good, Sam. Do you also remember that the position or place of a digit in a number is also very important? And if the position of the digit is changed, the number also changes. Oh yeah, I remember that. And we also have a name for each place or position. Correct. Let's see this three digit number. It is written using the digits 2, 5 and 4. The last digit of a number is in ones place. Yes, and the one before it is the tens place. And the position before tens place is called the hundreds place. That's right. And ones, tens and hundreds can be abbreviated to O, T and H. Yes, I remember that too. Now, for reading a three digit number, you have to divide it into two parts. The digit in the hundreds place forms the first part and the tens and ones digits together form the second part. In this number, we have two in hundreds place, so the first part will be read as 200. The second part is made up of five in tens place and four in ones place. Now we know that 5 in tens place means 50 and 4 in tens place means 4. What is 50 and 4? 50 and 4 is 54. Correct. So the second part is 54. While reading the two parts together, we will put the word and in between. So this number will be read as 200 and 54. Aha! I think I understand. Why don't you try reading another number? Here is the number for you. It is written using the digits 4, 6 and 3. So I divide it into two parts. First part is hundreds digit and the second is tens and ones together. So first part is 4 in hundreds place. So it is 400. Second part is made up of 6 in tens place and 3 in ones place. So 60 and 3 which is 63. So the second part is 63. So this number is 463. Very good Sam. Now try this number. Sure, I know what to do. I will divide the number in two parts. First part is the hundreds digit, 5, so it will be read as 500. Second part is 6 in tens and 0 in ones, which is 60. So the number is 560. Right again. And here's one more for you to read. 
Hmm. So here are my two parts. First part is 800. Second part is 1 in 10th place and 3 in 1's place, which is 13. So this number is 813. Excellent. And here is another one. Mm, two parts. First part, 7 in 100's place. So it is 700. Second part is 0 in 10's place and 8 in 1's place, which is the number 8. So the number should be 708. Is that correct, Ms. R? Absolutely. And can you read this one? Okay, so two parts. Two in hundreds place. So the first part is 200. Zero in second part is nothing. So the number will be read as Two hundred and um oh just two hundred absolutely right well done Sam thank you Miss R now I know how to read three digit numbers please like share and subscribe very soon Sam and I will be back with another video until then keep learning.